Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Angela. I'm so happy to have you. This weekend, I figured I would just vlog what I'm doing during my weekend so that you guys can come along and hang out with me. And yeah, it'll be a good time. Um, I'm going thrift shopping right now, of course, because that's what I tend to do every single weekend. I tend to go thrift shopping, but anyway, I've been in Florida for over a month now and I still have no idea how to get anywhere, which is fine. I mean, starting route. Whatever. But yeah, I have to use my GPS to get literally everywhere. I have no idea how to get around. But anyway, I'm gonna go thrift shopping right now, so I'll bring you guys along and then I'll give you a haul of everything I get. I think I'm gonna go to two thrift stores, so we'll see what I find. I wish in I one could. mile, turn right. I wish I could listen to music with you guys so bad, but I don't want to get copyright claimed or whatever, obviously. But I've been listening to Maggie Lindemann's new album, Paranoia, and holy shit, it's so good. It's so good. It makes me feel like I'm a teenager in the early 2000s in my pink bedroom listening to it on a CD on my radio. That's what it makes me feel like, and it's a great feeling. Literally, it's so good you guys should really listen to it i also am just kind of obsessed with her as a person so maybe i'm a little biased when i used to go thrift shopping at home there was always like barely any people in the thrift store like i don't know it was it was never like packed or anything every time i go thrift shopping down here the thrift stores are packed like there's so many people every single time it's really weird but I mean, whatever, I guess everyone likes to thrift shop. <laughs> but like, it's just weird, I don't know. But now I'm gonna go in, so let's go see what we can find. Just got done, oh my god, I can't get it. Just got done at the first thrift store. I just went to a Goodwill. Um, now I'm gonna go to one more and then I'm gonna go get like a smoothie or an acai bowl or something because for my birthday that just passed on Wednesday, my friend got me a gift card to this place near our house. That's like an acai bowl place. So we're gonna go to one more thrift store and then we'll go do that. So let's go. Made it to the second thrift store. It honestly looks a little bit sketchy, but I'm gonna go in anyway. We'll see what we can find. was not sketchy at all they were actually playing like church music the entire time I was in there and I got two bags worth of the stuff so definitely did some damage but I'm very happy they had really cool things actually and yeah I'm very happy with what I got so now I'm gonna go get a smoothie and then I'm gonna head home and I'm a little regretful honestly because I got one that has coffee in it and I think honestly I'm just not a big fan of coffee in smoothies I just think it never actually tastes that good but it's not bad still tastes pretty good and I didn't even have to pay for it because I used to gift cards so worth it I want to show you guys my outfit because I think it's cute so I'm wearing this cute floral crop top and these jeans, oh my god, don't look at my hamper. <laughs> these are my favorite jeans that I own, for real. They are so comfy and just like so baggy and nice. And then my sneakers, 
I actually don't know what these are called. I don't know what they're called, but that's what they look like. So yeah, super cute. Now I'll show you what I got from the thrift stores. Okay, but first, can we just take a second that I literally have this pasta just sitting on my desk in my room. That is disgusting. It's been sitting there for like 24 hours now. That's, that is nasty. That is disgusting. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got from the thrift store. Okay, looking at these bags now, I'm like, yeah, I actually did a little bit of damage, so let's dive in. We'll start with Goodwill. Goodwill, because I went there first. So, I got these. I got these sunglasses. They're pretty cute, I think. I don't know, I just needed a new pair. I honestly didn't really care what they looked like, but I think they're pretty cute. I got this big dad shirt. It's just like a button up shirt because I really love the color of it. And yeah, I'm just gonna crop that. I'm gonna crop that. I got these pants. They have like, can you see? They have like the cargo pockets, you know, so. Thought they were cool. I got this t-shirt, wait. I got this t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was cute and funny and I'm gonna crop it. Oh, this is actually really cute but I don't know if it's gonna fit me. So, it's like this lacy tank top and it has butterflies on it. Very cute. I got these pants, they're like striped yellow. I thought they would be good to like wear to the beach. I got just this plain yellow tank top. I don't have a tank top this color, surprisingly, so. And last from Goodwill, I got this bag. Okay, wait, let it focus. This is literally adorable. And the tech, like the fabric of it, it's like really thick. It's like canvas. So I thought it would be really good to bring to the beach and it's so cute. So very happy about this find. Then I went to another thrift store. Here's what I got there. I got this plain yellow polo shirt that I'm just gonna crop, just a simple basic. This is a little questionable. I got this. button-up shirt, I got another button-up shirt, but I have literally no idea what the pattern on this is. It's like crazy, like, I don't even know. It's so different. I've literally never seen a pattern. I've never seen a pattern like that, so thought that was cool. I got another purse. Um, I don't have like a, just a little crossbody bag. So I just got this black one. It's cool texture and everything. Yeah. So I live in Florida, right? So it's really hot in like the afternoon, but I go to work so early in the morning that when I wake up to leave, it's still cold outside and it's cold for like a few hours while I'm there. But then in the afternoon, it gets really hot. So I needed like some sweaters that I can just wear over my outfits in the morning so I won't get cold. So I got this, it's like a, sweatshirt material but it has buttons like it buttons up and it has pockets but it's like a sweatshirt material and i don't know i thought it was so cute and the color of it is so cute i got this shirt that says just peachy and i'm gonna crop that as well because it's just a little bit too long for me right now I got this, this is a men's shirt, but I always find things in the men's section that I like, so whatever. So it's just a collared shirt, but it's very like, it looks like it's been very like worn and just like distressed kind of. So I'm gonna crop that as well. You can see it's very like worn in and just like really soft. And last, I got another like jacket thing I can wear in the mornings to work so I don't get, so it's not like, so I'm not so cold. Um, and it's cute, it's like a zip up cardi, it has a zipper? Yeah, it's like a cardigan, but it has a zipper. I don't even know how to show this to you. It's like a cardigan, but it has a zipper. And yeah, it's just simple and blue, very cute. 
So now I have to go pick up some packages from the office at my complex because I ordered roller skates for my birthday and they came in the mail. So I have to go get those and I will show you those. They're gonna be so sick. These are the skates. I'm gonna open them. You guys, they're so cool. Wait till you see them. God, are you kidding me? That is so sick. There's, oh my God. Okay. Let's open it. Oh my God. Yup, 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 wait. Yeah, <laughs> you guys, are they not so sick? Oh my God, they're so sick. Yeah, I am very, very happy with that. And I forgot to say, those skates are from Impala Skate. I follow, my friend told me to follow them on Instagram. They have really cool skates. And honestly, they got here so quick in like two weeks, so. Definitely check them out if you are looking for some roller skates. I was just outside roller skating for like 45 minutes probably. And I'm not gonna lie, I underestimated how hard roller skating is like it really is a workout on your legs it's really hard your legs get really tired and i did not realize that it was like hard like that i thought you literally just glided along the pavement but no it's pretty hard but it was really fun and i'm so happy i have those now because i've been looking for like some kind of activity that will get me outside more since i live in florida now and the weather is usually pretty nice and I can go outside a lot, I'm trying to find activities that keep me outside as much as possible. Whoa, my hand just got so shaky. So yeah, roller skating, I'm very excited I have those now, I'm very excited I can do that now. I'm already thinking about more cute spare, more cute pairs of roller skates that I can buy. Oh no. <laughs> but I, now I'm gonna take a shower because I am drenched in sweat from roller skating in 82 degrees. And yeah, I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna go get food because realistically, the only thing I ate today was that smoothie. So I need to go get something to eat, so yeah. Check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, I showered, but I didn't wash my hair because I am lazy, lazy as shit. So I didn't wash my hair. Um, also not gonna make myself dinner because again, I'm lazy as shit. So I just ordered some pad thai and spring rolls. So I'm gonna go pick that up soon. I don't wanna bring my camera in the car again because <laughs> I have to duct tape my tripod to my dashboard. Is that what it's called? I don't know, my dashboard. And it's a lot of work and it just is all sticky and I don't feel like doing it. So I'm gonna go pick up my food soon and then I'll show you I'll show you it when I get back and then maybe I'll eat a little bit of it on camera so that if you're struggling with eating recently or you feel like you don't deserve to put food in your body, I can help remind you that you deserve to eat. Your body needs the nutrients and the food won't harm you in any way. Here's my dinner. I have some pad thai with tofu. Looks pretty good. And some spring rolls and I'm watching I'm watching Emma Chamberlain, so. I'm gonna take a few bites on camera, just in case you guys need help taking your first few bites. So eating can sometimes feel like a chore and feel like something we don't have to do or something we don't want to do or something that just feels like it's not really a necessity. It's easy to convince yourself that you don't have to eat, but you do, you have to eat. Your body needs the nutrients. First bite, let's get it. Mm. I've actually never had pad thai before, but for some reason it just sounded good when I saw it on the menu. And it is really, really good. So I just took two bites. 
Now it's your turn. You take a bite. I'll wait for you. Good job. Doesn't it feel good to put something in your body? And it won't hurt you. The food won't hurt you. Your mind will convince you that the food will hurt you or it will make you gain weight or it will make you look a certain way. But your food won't hurt you. I'm gonna try the tofu, but it looks really hot. Hmm. Weirdly, I actually really like the texture of tofu. I don't know, I think it's really, I just think it's a nice texture. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go finish this off camera, watch Emma Chamberlain, have a good night. And yeah, I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing tonight, but I'll be back in a little bit to check in with you guys. I'm sorry about the lighting, but I probably have like 20 to 30 minutes of light, daylight left outside. So I'm gonna go skating again until it, just basically until it gets too dark for me to be outside. We had this rumor going around our complex that there was like sex trafficking happening where we live and like there were people putting X's on people's cars or whatever, scary stuff. So I don't wanna be out there when it's dark outside. So I probably have like 20 or 30 minutes left. So I'm gonna go skating again and then we'll see. Look at how beautiful, I don't know if it'll focus, but oh my God, look at how beautiful that sky is. So awesome. been sitting on my bed doing nothing for like hours <laughs> I guess I'm not really gonna be doing anything tonight that's what it's looking like so but I did just pour myself a pretty hefty glass of wine so I'll be drinking this and maybe watching I don't know I'll see if there's a new episode of Hell's Kitchen out or something maybe watch that probably eat some snacks I don't know it's definitely gonna be a boring night so I don't know if I'm even gonna be checking in with you guys again until tomorrow, but we'll see. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Does anyone else change their outfit like 25 times a day? Like I'm not even going anywhere right now. I'm, I'm just staying in my room and I just got changed because, well, I was cold, but I wanted a new outfit on. Like, why do I do that? I'm not even going anywhere. And I just got changed again for like the eighth time today. I don't know, do you guys do that too? So for the past couple hours, I've just been hanging out with my roommates downstairs, just talking and watching iCarly. We were watching iCarly because it just came out on Netflix and I don't know, we just wanted to watch it. So we were watching iCarly and just talking for a while and now it's getting kind of late. Yeah, it's getting a little bit late. So I'll probably go to bed soon and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, friends. I promise I'm wearing a shirt. Um, I just woke up about like 25 minutes ago. I have some errands that I have to run today before I, I have to go to my grandmom's for dinner because I'm having like a Zoom call with my whole family for my birthday dinner. Um, so I have to do that later, but I have some errands I have to run before I go do that. But I wanted to get some movement in right when I woke up before I do any of that stuff. So I'm gonna go outside and roller skate for a bit. I think this is gonna be my new obsession, roller skating, because it's just so fun. And it's a really good way to get in some movement because it's like so fun and it's better than like running. I get really bored when I like go running. So this is a much more fun way to get in like some good cardio. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll take you guys along on my errands. Okay, I'm about to go run some errands, but I figured I'd give you guys a quick fit check before I leave. So I have these cute yellow shorts on, flowers, and those are from, wait, wait. those are from Pretty Little Thing. I have a little tank top, just plain black tank top on from Urban Outfitters. And then I have cool tie-dye socks on from Zoomies, I think and my checkerboard bands. So yeah, I gotta run to Target and Trader Joe's and I'll bring you guys with me. Let's go. I'm gonna pretend I don't look literally ridiculous with these sunglasses on because I 
think I like them, so let's just pretend I don't look crazy. But we're on our Turn way to left Target. On this bitch has to interrupt me all the time. We're on our way to Target, but first I have to dump all, dump my trash at the dumpster. I've had a bag of trash sitting in my car for like a week now, and it smells like shit. And that's fucking disgusting. That is disgusting. But that's the reality of life. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Okay, so I just spent $140 at Target. Yep. Um, the annoying thing is that it was mostly like necessary shit. Like everything I bought, I actually needed. Like it was stuff I actually needed. But just like, ugh, spending that much money at once is just so, it just really does not make me feel good. Now I have to go to Trader Joe's. So I have to spend even more money but it's like necessary. Like sometimes you just have to spend the money. Like sometimes you just need shit. So we have to go there now. And then I think I'm gonna get another smoothie because I was very let down by the smoothie I got yesterday and I've just been on a smoothie kick recently. Okay, I just got done at Trader Joe's. Um, I feel like I've been out of my house for hours, but I haven't even been gone for that long. But now I'm gonna go get a smoothie. I'm gonna go to Smoothie King, get a smoothie, since I was very disappointed by the one I got yesterday. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, and then I'm gonna go home. It has been so hot here the past couple days, like 82 degrees. Maybe that doesn't seem that hot, but it feels so hot. And when you get in your car, you like immediately start boiling. But yeah, let's go to Smoothie King. Got my smoothie. Um, if you guys are wondering, I get the angel food smoothie, but with almond milk instead of non-fat milk, and I add peanut butter to it, and it's really, really good. Mm. So much better than the smoothie I had yesterday. I'm satisfied. I wanna show you guys some of the things I got from Target, because I got like a few pieces of clothing and a new backpack and it's pretty cute. So I'll show you that. Also, I ordered a tapestry for this wall like a long time ago from Etsy and I got an email that it got delivered and it literally just never came. So I guess I have to order another one. Like I don't really know what to do about that. But anyway, let me show you what I got. First, I recently heard that you're supposed to switch your shampoo and conditioner. Like you're supposed to have a few different ones that you use and you're supposed to switch in between them like every month or so. So I bought a new kind of shampoo and conditioner that I knew never used before. And it's by the brand, oh my God, you literally, okay, there we go. It's by the brand Monday. I've honestly never heard of this brand before, but it's in Target and it's like cruelty free and paraben free and all that good stuff. So, and honestly, I just thought the packaging was really cute. I just thought the packaging was really cute. So I was like, yeah, I'll try that. For clothes, I needed some new shorts cause like it's been really hot here and I just don't have enough pairs of shorts to wear to work, like comfy shorts and stuff. So I got these white ones. They're pretty long actually. And I didn't try any of these on. So I don't even know if they fit, but they're just white and pretty long and baggy, which is my kind of thing. And then I got brown ones. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even like this color that much, but this was the only size, or this was the only color they had in an extra small. So I just, whatever, I just got them. I mean, they are cute, they are cute. I just would have preferred a different color, but it's fine. And this is really cute. I got this dress, like this t-shirt dress. Very, very cute. And honestly, I think it's supposed to be like a, like it's a weird material. It's like a towel to uh, like a towel material almost. So it's kind of weird, but I thought it was very, very cute. And that would be good for work as well. And then also to bring to work, <laughs> clearly I needed a lot of things for work. Um, I got a new backpack because I left the backpack I used to bring to work at home for some reason. And I, I, I guess I just forgot to bring it. I don't know. So I had to buy a new one. So it's just black and square or rectangle, I guess. I don't know and has pockets on the side. Yeah, very cute. Now, I don't have to go to my grandmom's for a few hours, so maybe I'll go roller skating again. That's been my thing now since I have these roller skates. So maybe I'll go roller skating again or something. I don't know, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. 
I don't know if you guys feel this way too, but putting laundry away is really therapeutic for me for some reason. It's just very like calming to me and I actually enjoy doing it and I have to put some away right now. So I'm gonna do that very quickly and then I'm gonna head to my grandmom's and yeah, let's get into it. So now I have to get ready to go to my grandmom's house. We'll head there. And yeah, I'm gonna have dinner with them and cake and everything. And I'm gonna Zoom with my family for my birthday. So it'll be nice. I just got back from dinner at my grandmom's and let me show you this is really cute my dad and my grandmom they got me they got me these pretty flowers with the little valentine's day thing and this cute little balloon so that was really nice of them <laughs> and yeah i just had a really good night i got to zoom with my whole family my brothers and my sisters and my nieces and my mom so it was a really good night and now I think I'm gonna pick out my outfit for work tomorrow because I have to wake up so early in the morning like I have to be there at 7 a.m. so I like to try and make my morning as easy as I possibly can so I'm gonna watch some YouTube and pick out my outfit for tomorrow and then honestly I'll probably just watch YouTube or something maybe read a little for the rest of the night I don't really know this is not necessarily the cutest outfit ever, but I like to be really comfy at work because I'm basically just sitting around all day um, and playing with a baby. So I'm, I've am i landed on this, these shorts that I got from Target today, and this shirt that I thrifted yesterday and cropped. And yeah, easy, simple, and then I'll throw a jacket like this on top. This is another thing that I thrifted yesterday, so this is just like something I'll throw on on top to go in the morning when it's cold out. And then I have to take it off literally like an hour later because then it's like 85 degrees and it was so hot outside. So yeah. There's the fit. Most of the time my outfits don't match. Um, like clearly these colors don't go together that well, but honestly I don't care. So it is what it is. I just did some yoga. I always do yoga with Adrian's wind down bedtime yoga as many times as I can during the week before I go to sleep. But I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this, but recently I've been having this problem where the nights before I have to go to work, I get like really really anxious and I don't know if it's because I have to wake up so early and I'm anxious about waking up so early or if it's because I'm actually anxious about my job but I've been having this problem where like oh my god the balloon in my room just scared me so bad I've been having this problem where like the night before I have to wake up for work I'm so anxious and then the first thing I feel when I wake up in the morning is anxiety and I haven't found anything yet that like calms me down and makes me feel less anxious but it kind of sucks because I've just been getting so anxious recently the nights before I have to wake up to go to work and then in the morning right when I wake up I'm incredibly anxious so that's been kind of hard to deal with recently comment down below if you relate to anything like if you also go through something like that but yeah basically now I'm just gonna do my skincare get ready for bed and then probably go to bed so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed spending the weekend with me um if you did let me know down below i'll make more videos like this i love you all as always my guide on how to get help will be linked below um i love you all so much i appreciate you all so much thank you so much for watching